Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry, sir. Um, I don't remember allowing you inside of my room. Is something the matter? I mean, what are you expecting here? A YouTube video? Like... I'm sorry, but it's a little bit rude, don't you think, to be just breaking into someone's room and then start to film them? I mean, something's not right. I mean, what did I have to do today? My main goal is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> Holy Hannah Montana, I gotta make a YouTube video today, guys. Oh my goodness, I've been slacking. I've only been posting a video every two to three days. So you know what? I'm gonna make a great video that celebrates all the people that do follow me. So what I'm gonna have to do is make an Instagram story where I tell people, hey, send me your URL and then I can review them on the channel and give them some helpful tips that they can use, but also other people watching the video can implement on their own store. Okay, let's check out these results. Let's see what we got here. So scrolling down, looks like Nigel Stinson's really trying to get me to join his pyramid scheme. We're gonna have to block that guy. So let's see, is there a way I can block him? Is, can I like go to his profile? Doesn't look like I can, but uh, we'll block him after this video. So we got a lot, I mean, Nigel, come on, man. But we got hockey, battling, pickup factory, so many great ideas here. Oh my goodness, guys. This is just too many. And of course, Nigel is still spamming me, but uh, oh my god. Dude, I need to get rid of Nigel Stenson. Holy moly. You know what? I think I got my three. All right, all right, all right. Shh. Okay, I know this is going to hurt a little bit, but I'm going to move you over here. And there's a reason why, because I'm going to put my phone screen right here, and you guys are going to see the store while I talk about it in this video. So it's going to be really sort of crazy. It's going to be nuts. It's going to seem sort of fourth wall breaking, but this is exactly what we're going to do. And I know it's sort of slanted, so maybe I should do it like this. I don't really know. I think, what would be the best way of doing this, actually? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. So the first one we are going to review today in this exciting, action-packed website review series is going to be the SeamlessBodyShaper.com. This is by Pero5, and Pero, if you don't know what that means, that's dog in Spanish, but he only has one R, so I'm not sure what's going on. The SeamlessBodyShaper.com, I hope it doesn't show all my other tabs that are going on here because you do not want to see what I've been looking up. But let's go, let's see what it's up. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So let's take a look at this logo first. That is a really awesome logo. Seamless body shaper, that's really cool. Um, I'm a little bit worried about this homepage image. It doesn't show a body shaper to my knowledge. So the number one rated seamless shapewear, combining comfort, design, and price to give you the ultimate shapewear. That's not a bad slogan. So as we scroll down on this home page, the seamless body shaper, so you can see all the different images that we're scrolling. Oh, okay. That's a baddie right there. But this is a really, really decent product page. I'm not gonna lie. So they got the purple going on. I like that they keep it congruent with the purple color. Uh, we'll read the product description a little bit later. I just wanna scroll down. So the number one shapewear. I'll admit that looks a little bit messy uh, with the trophy. I think you should do probably all capitals shapewear on the market. Number one, have a space between the no and the one, or you can just do hashtag one. Free return, 60 day guarantee, 99.5% customer satisfaction. That's pretty good as well. Quick links, contact us. I would have an about us. I would also have, let's see, so they have privacy policy, refund policy, terms of service. That's all pretty good. I would have a cancel order policy as well. I will admit that is a pretty compelling newsletter they got. Want secret discounts? It just really piqued your curiosity, and I think a lot of people would actually sign up for that. So that's really good. Let's see what else we got. So home, contact us. Do they actually have a shop? Do they have? You definitely need a shop section or shop shapewear or shop our products or something like that because I don't think there's any way I can actually get to the product that they're selling. It's just on their home page, which is not the way you want to do it. You want to send them to a product page. So let's see if I type up, you know, shape, what sort of comes up here. Excuse my spelling. I only have a high school degree. Um, so nothing's coming up. So definitely make sure you have some sort of product page. That's the first thing. I guess you can only buy on the actual home page. And if you're doing a one product brand, you can use ClickFunnels or something like that. That's a really good sort of website to think about with one product you know, stores, because you're only selling one thing, so you might as well not even have a whole website because you don't really need it. Um, but let's take a look. So, so with this product description, they have a countdown timer, which is sale ends at two hours, 44 minutes. Now, I'm not a huge fan of countdown timers, but I actually think that looks pretty legitimate and that could definitely work on a lot of people. So I would not get rid of that. Secure with PayPal, all this stuff, right here that I'm sort of highlighting, I would not have that in there, it's not necessary. It's like when you're writing a product description and you're trying to sort of convey this idea that you're trustworthy, you shouldn't be saying, hey, look at all this. 
If I'm a good guy, I don't need to go around telling people, hey, here's all my accomplishments. This is why I'm a good guy. People will just sense it. They'll make their own conclusions. You don't need to tell people. You need to sort of show why. So if that makes sense. And you can show people you're trustworthy by the design of your website, by the words you're using in your product description and so much more. So first thing they have in here is a YouTube video. I never recommend having a whole YouTube video because it can be a little bit distracting when you have this giant thing that we have to watch and it's a minute long so you're just gonna bore people to death I'd rather have gifts that are two to three seconds long it doesn't distract people that much uh, notice don't be worried about the coronavirus coronavirus can only last on substance for 72 hours okay that's not bad and our shipping time is 5 to 13 days that's pretty good as well I would have that at the bottom though that would not be the first thing people see I would have a headline instead um, and you can do your headline as this right here the number one rated shop wear or shapewear sorry and are you looking for a quick and easy solution to make yourself look 20 pounds lighter that's a good headline as well I would actually probably open with that instead because you're asking a question also make sure to have your actual question mark there and it sort of piques curiosity. So people are asking themselves that question and they're thinking to themselves, huh? Yeah, you know what? I would like to look 20 pounds lighter. So looking at the rest of the product description, we have an emoji here, which I think is a little bit out of place. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. It just doesn't look natural to me. When we look at the features and benefits, um, it's decent. It's just lacking substance, in my opinion. If you did easy to put on, I, I don't think that's a huge sort of benefit. I think you can uh rephrase it a little bit to be like um let's see good news everybody so i did find the product page as we can see right here so now we can really sort of compare it so sale ends secure with paypal don't be worried and is there reviews yes there are some reviews and the first one is just the bag which i would change this out for a more sort of compelling review that has you know actual pictures of someone wearing it and has a good sort of caption under so good quality product, very flexible and comfortable. I would try to get rid of the ones that are just, you know, images of the actual bag because no one really cares. Uh, this also looks very suspicious because it's just a product photo. Uh, what else do we got here? So decent. This doesn't even look like English. So I would definitely clean up the reviews a little bit because you can make it a lot more compelling and people really need to see third party validation. And if they're not seeing reviews that look legitimate, they are going to be really sketched out by your website. You know, I never thought I would say this in my lifetime, but I'm right now on skims.com, which is Kim Kardashian's website, and we're gonna check out a similar product. So this looks exactly the same. It sort of goes down to the thigh, covers the abs a little bit, and is this that sort of similar? Yeah, it looks pretty much exactly the same. Maybe their shapewear goes a little bit higher, but it's the same sort of idea. And if we look at their product description, it's very short, it's very to the point, because Kim knows people aren't gonna read all this stuff. They're just gonna read one paragraph. That's the most they're gonna read, and it's very simple it's to the point it's concise do they even have any reviews of course they do shocked like this is what i mean by substance the first review look at how amazing this is yeah there's no way possible this is going to go over my thick thighs and ass i was wrong boom let's go that's a good review so again great product and they know exactly what women are going to want you know this whisper soft and seamless construction and mid-thigh life makes this piece a necessity for enhancing the natural shape of your butt so that might actually be the main selling point so our buddy might have the wrong selling point where they're like hey do you want to look 20 pounds slimmer maybe the main benefits actually hey it lifts your butt so it gives you the impression that you have a bigger butt and it slims your core so that it looks like you're skinnier as well so you're getting that kim kardashian hourglass sort of figure and i know no girl really wants to look like kim k because she's about 90 percent ass but you know you get the idea so if we go back to the seamless body shaper definitely fix up your benefits do you even have one of the benefits being about how it lifts your booty not really so i would definitely add that and if we were to compare these two Kim's website has no emojis. It's very short, it's very plain, and it's very professional. That's branded, all the colors are very, con and it's very seamless, it's very congruent. All the colors seem to be the exact same, and I mean everything, it's just to the point. She knows exactly what she's doing with the branding, with the look, there's not too many colors, not really any distractions. With the seamless body shapewear, does it look as professional? No, because there's emojis, there's this little go to checkout thing that's shaking. And the size chart as well just doesn't look as professional. I think you can make a nice Canva image of the size chart that looks a lot more professional. And if we're looking down here, reviews can be a little bit better, but let's go to the checkout page. Alrighty, so they got the logo on the checkout page, which I like, uh, nothing too crazy. I'm just gonna fill in some random information. So we'll say, 
My address is GHD Enterprises. We'll say my last name is Karfriderf, and then we'll say my email address is blank 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 at Yahoo. Dot com and then we'll go to the shipping options we'll see what they got so when we continue to shipping what are we looking at here priority track shipping I would have a free shipping option because a lot of people don't like to pay for shipping and have a priority insured shipping so those are the two options I like to do having a one-year warranty is also great but that's really the only changes I would make so let's go on to the next website all right so we're back on the answers let's see what would be a good one to review what name is sort of sticking out to me there's a lot here. I will admit, I do appreciate all the suggestions. So let's see. Hmm. Louis Cases. Louis Cases. That sounds interesting. Louis Cases Collection. Let's do that. <laughs> oh, God. It's a phone case store. I absolutely hate phone case stores because there's no margin whatsoever. Like, on this $5 phone case, the best you can make is 5 bucks. Why would you sell anything that you only can make 5 bucks on? It's just so... You're, like, pandering in a way. It's just... It, it's like you're begging, you're homeless. Oh, here's a phone case for five bucks. I mean, take it. I'll give you anything, man. Kobe case, that's illegal. Would not sell that. Powerpuff Girls would not sell that because you don't own the trademarks. Louis Vuitton, also, this whole brand is like BS. Oh, gosh, luxury, that's totally copying. Again, Louis Vuitton. I believe it's Louis. I'm not really materialist. I don't know a whole lot about designer brands. And my door is open, so let me close it. But I'm not sure why they thought this was a good idea because there's just so many red flags maybe that's is that gucci i have no clue i don't know anything there's no actual product description oh my gosh it's just a whole mess i mean door stop opening oh my gosh but um let's look at a good phone case store just to show them a good idea of what they should look like Alrighty, so I'm looking at casemate.com. We're scrolling down right here on the iPhone 11. Let's click on the soap bubble. These are $40 phone cases. Oh my goodness. That's that's building a brand right there. Soap bubble is a swirled iridescent printed pattern that mesmerizes and changes color. So again, with phone cases, you don't need to go overboard with the product descriptions. Everyone knows what a phone case is for. And let's go down. And the new spin on our classic tough clear phone case so very simple very short to the point again looking pretty solid i absolutely love this product description they just cover all the main points and again with phone cases with clothing with jewelry with anything that's self-explanatory you do not need to overdo with the product descriptions just have like a paragraph or something about the actual design which they do so an iridescent printed pattern maybe i would bold something in this actual product description to have you know eyes to focus on that part but it's just really short it's really simple it's to the point they got the photos it's just really nice to look at and if we're going back to our friend which is louis vuitton over here there's just nothing there there's no reviews there's no product description i mean you can just tell they need a lot of work do they have any catalogs so they have a catalog i would have you know the about us the contact us to track your order do you have any policies no you do not it's just the basic you know you put no work into it so you're not going to get any results so let's check out the grading case this is actually very very similar to the soap bubble thing if we go back to the soap bubble okay so they might be a little bit different but that's not a huge difference so they got iphone 6s they got a bunch of different iphones which is cool i do like that you have you know variation that you can sort of appeal to a lot of different users of iphones gradient rainbow laser case yeah that's not going to convince anyone to buy i'm just going to i'm just going to tell you straight up that's not going to do the trick you have no reviews which is no third party social proof you don't actually have a real logo that's just the typed out version of your brand name it's just a lot of work can be done but um let's go to the third one because i don't want to you know poop on this guy too much i mean we can check out the checkout page but i'm imagining it's going to be pretty much the basic sort of thing going on with no logo yeah so i'm just going to go cover another one and who will be our last victim who will it be i am really excited let's see what we got here so we got a ton of different options inside gadget store finesse pillow tug of paw maybe we should do a an animal brand let's do an animal brand so let's do traceyourpaw.com i will gladly review that so traceyourpaw.com how are you guys enjoying this video if you're enjoying it make sure to slap that like button absolutely body slam it by the way so let's see what we got here trace your paw okay so they got a gif as the header image which is pretty cool i like that the logo is really cute i like that so let's scroll on down uh so they got a featured product forbes this device featured real-time gps um 
can't say I recommend Forbes because I, I don't think Forbes really ever writes about animal products, to be honest. Uh, let's go down, different kind of newsletter. We won't blow up your email. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, search, privacy policy, refund policy. Make sure you have your cancel order policy in there as well. Let's scroll back up and let's actually go to one of the products. So when we're looking at the main menu, you don't need a home, just do a shop about us, contact us, shipping info, have a track your order as well. People need to see that. And let's go to, let's do the pet mini waterproof GPS tracker. So one improvement I'm noticing on the actual product photos is you could definitely put your logo somewhere in the top left or the top right hand corner just to make it seem more branded and professional. And as you can see right here, you have this little thing on the bottom right where it says red. I would just get rid of that. People know what color variant it is and the black as well. And try to make these the same size image. It's sort of weird how they're both different when they could definitely be the same. Not a lot of product images as well, but okay, so let's see. In the US alone, approximately 1 million dogs go missing each year. That's a great headline. I love that. I just wouldn't do a little bullet point. I would just do, you know, that is the headline. So so we decided to go just do something about it. Our goal is to make a big difference. I don't like that you have it centered. Have it left uh, aligned. You don't need to have it centered. Features, track your dog up to one mile away. I feel like this product's missing a lot of information because it's a GPS tracker, so it's something that does need to be explained. There's a lot of features and benefits to it, and I think you need to go a little more in depth to that. So track your dog up to one mile away. You should have a bullet point here. This is where you do your bullet points, okay? So make sure to have some bullet points going on in there. Waterproof technology, and that also makes no sense at all. Waterproof technology, do not use when simming or bathing. Well, that, what the? This doesn't make any sense. When we look at the actual reviews, they have the review date on it, which I wouldn't have. I would just have that left blank. Again, with the product reviews, they just need a little more substance, like good, satisfied, okay, super. I am satisfied with the product. Very fast delivery. Live Serbia and Brachina. Like, come on, you can do a little bit better than that. Also in the product description, I would have something about, you know, your shipping times. I would have something about in our guarantee, something along those lines. Cause with products like this, people need to see some sort of guarantee. Cause what if it doesn't work for them? What if it breaks? They need to have some sort of security if they are to make this purchase. But overall, it's not a horrible beginner's page. Let's go to the actual checkout page. Let's see what we got here. I do like this logo. I mean, it's a pretty sick logo the little heart. I mean, look at that. That's really bougie. So let's go to the checkout page. So one thing that stands out to me is you don't have your logo on the checkout page. So make sure to add that. And let's again do a fake address. We'll do a different name this time. So the Federal Reserve Bank, my name is Cumberbatch, Benedict Cumberbatch, but we won't do our first name because that would take forever. And this is gonna be our new Gmail slash yahoo.com. And let's go to continue to shipping. And when we check this out, they do have a free standard shipping and priority insured shipping, which this guy watches the videos. Okay, you know what? He's working. I see you out there. That's great. Good job with the shipping info. Uh, I, you have the blue buttons in your checkout page. I don't know if that's congruent with what you have on your actual product pages. If we go back, because you want to make sure your buttons are all the same color. So if we went back to return to cart, and if we went to your shop section, is it all that sort of blue? Because if it is, Good job, my hat's, hat's off to you. And it is good job there. So again, just need a little more substance with the product page, but it can definitely get there. Also with the actual product name, make it a little more branded because Pet Mini Waterproof GPS Tracker is not branded. If I saw that and I'm a buyer, what I would do instantly, just copy it, paste, and search. And I can guarantee I'll find a bunch of different alternatives out there. And this is what people are gonna do. They're gonna go straight to Amazon. Hey, I can get the exact same thing. And this is the exact same product for $9. So do not have a name that's easily searchable. Have it branded to your business. So for this instance, traceyourpaw.com, uh, the pet tracer, pet mini tracer, something like that. Have your name sort of inside of the brand or try to make it sound branded. So this is a GPS tracker. So pet GPS, something like that. Or let's see, can we come up with a good name on the spot? Let's see. I'll be honest, coming up with a branded name is one of the harder aspects of this. So pet tracker, pet track, something along those lines, dog track or dog trace. I mean, your brand is trace. So maybe just pet trace, trademark, boom, you're done. That's all you have to do because mini waterproof GPS. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. You should just keep it to these two words, pet and tracker. How can I make that sound brandable? So you might have to play around a little bit, throw some ideas, but pet trace might not be a bad one to do. And I think that might do it for today's video. We have covered three different websites. I have just used all of my storage space recording this video on my phone. So you know what? Can I get a little bit of a thank you? Can I get a little bit of a like on this video? I'm begging you out here.
And that is going to do it for today's video, pro versus beginner, action-packed review of the website, who comes out on top. You guys have seen the pros, now it's up to you to design the most professional website that you can do. I swear, if I don't get hired to be a movie trailer announcer at least once in my life, that is going to be really disappointing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe down below. And if you guys want more help with your store or if you've never started a dropshipping store before and you want to learn exactly how, you just don't know the steps, I do have a $9 program. I'll link it in the bio down below, which teaches you with 30 plus videos step by step on picking your niche, how to do product research, how to do Facebook ads, brand building, social media, and so much more. Link is in the bio. Again, only nine bucks. You don't have to pay $4.97 or $9.97 because I understand I don't want you to break the bank just to learn basic info on how to grow your brand from scratch. But without further ado, this is Ethan Dobbins and I'm signing off. Peace.